What is the Bible's definition of faithfulness? The character of God. He gives his word and he keeps his word. In fact, it's an extraordinary thing about God. God, who is the sovereign Lord of heaven and earth, can do whatever he likes. He chooses to bind himself under his own word. Now, the Greek gods weren't like that. The Canaanite gods were like that. The Roman gods were not like that. They did whatever they pleased when they pleased. Not the God of the Bible. He was the God who spoke, who made contracts, but not just made contracts for people. He made contracts for himself. And he places himself under his own law because he is the faithful God who will always keep his word, even to his own hurt. Sunday mornings I'm preaching through the fruit of the Spirit and a couple of weeks ago I preached a sermon on faithfulness and uh, you can get those through the, well you can download them from philipjensen.com uh, is the easiest way when they go up there on the cathedral website. But faithfulness is a really important concept, central to Christianity. Uh, which is why we talk about faith. You know that faith is a Christian idea, not a Buddhist idea, not a Hindu idea. It's a Christian idea. It's a Christian idea because of this concept of, uh, of covenant. When we talk about other faiths, that's a nonsense. The other faiths are not faiths because they're not, they're not really about the faithfulness of their gods in whom they have faith because their gods have made promises to them that they are keeping faith with. That's, that's not what it is at all. It's completely, you experience the gods in Hinduism. You don't have faith in their words.